everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here with another movie talk. And I know it's been a while since we've done one of these, but here we are, so let's talk. The movies we are comparing today are The Duff and The Edge of Seventeen. There will be five rounds with different categories when comparing these two movies. And at the end of each of those rounds, we will crown a victor. Bianca Piper and Nadine Franklin are both teens who face many struggles and triumphs while navigating their way through dating, crushes, and most of all, awkward situations. However, what I feel the Duff does more justice in is a likable character. I mean, this is all just my opinion, but what I feel Bianca has that Nadine lacks is a likable personality. While Nadine definitely brings more of the realism to the general teen angst, Bianca, in my opinion, is just more likable and interesting to watch. Not to mention she gets some of the best one-liners. So as far as main character likability, this one I'm going to say goes to Duff. Now granted, I know these movies are from two very different genres, one being a drama comedy and the other being a comedy teen movie. Not to mention the differences in what jokes they can do as far as movie ratings. However, while I do like the story of Duff, I feel as far as both realism and more realistic dilemmas go, I think I'll give this one to Edge of Seventeen. Not to say that labels and pressure meanings don't seem realistic, because they are, but Edge of Seventeen seems to give off more of that feeling of relatability and somewhat of a realistic darkness to sometimes how life sucks and sometimes you get knocked on your ass, but you just have to get up and keep pushing through. So with all that said, round two goes to Edge of Seventeen. Now, no teen movie is complete without the will-they-won't-they they power couple. And in this case, it's Edge of Seventeen's Erwin and Nadine versus Bianca and Wesley. And honestly, I feel like a lot of people are going to get pissed, but I actually prefer Bianca and Wesley's friendship and blossoming romance together. And I know, I know, it might not seem all that realistic, but it's adorable and the chemistry is just so present with these two. Whereas Erwin and Nadine share some cute and fun moments, I don't feel their relationship went through much development. It was kind of just a hi, how are you, oh, we're dating now situation. So in my opinion, round three goes to The Duffs, Wesley, and Bianca. The movie also can't be complete without a kind, caring, take under the wing type mentor to cheer on the main character in their journey. And here's where things get interesting. I actually kind of prefer Edge of Seventeen's Mr. Bruner over Mr. Arthur. Even though Mr. Arthur has some great one-liners and a funny teacher bonding type friendship with Bianca, I kind of like the idea of Mr. Bruner's harsh approach when he and Nadine talk. Granted, yes, he can be a bit of a jerk, but sometimes that's what people need in a mentor. Someone who will kick them in the ass and force them to get up and make something of themselves. So in this case of the better mentor, round four goes to Edge of Seventeen. And here we are at the final round. Let's talk about the one thing that most every teen movie has. Who has the better moral? Well, let's talk about that for a second. To be honest, I don't really see much of a real motivated moral in Edge of Seventeen. Mostly what I gathered from my rewatching of this film is maybe the message is to put yourself out there more, or something along the lines of finding acceptance within yourself. Which is a nice message, don't get me wrong. But is it a clear message? Not really. I feel like the movie takes some time to get through to genuinely find the message message it's trying to convey. Whereas The Duff is more straightforward with it and is pretty much telling you from the beginning what the moral is. Which some could find annoying, I suppose. But in all honesty, the final point could go either way. However, in my opinion, The Duff, as forced as the moral is and how unrealistic it can be at times, is a fun comedy that doesn't just rely on raunchiness to make its point. And that's something I can appreciate. So I guess with that all said, let's crown the victor and get those credits rolling. It's tragic, we're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic, believe